Good morning. For today's video, our topic is multiplying decimals up to two decimal places by one tenth, one hundred, ten, and one hundred mentally. And for our word problem of the day, Mr. Cruz owns a two and nine tenths hectares of land. He plans to make one tenth of the land into a residential lot. How many hectares of the land will be converted? into residential lot. Again, Mr. Cruz owns a two and nine tenths hectares of land. He plans to make one tenth of the land into a residential lot. How many hectares of the land will be converted into residential lot? What are the steps in multiplying decimals by one tenth or one hundred? In this case, our first example is two and nine tenths times one tenth. Step number one count the number of of decimal places. So we have one decimal placed in our multiplier. Step number two, move the decimal point to the left based on the number of decimal places. So we have one decimal place. So we are going to move going to the left. So the final answer is 29 hundredths. So the answer is 29 at 2,900 hectares per hectare. Let us try. Multiply mentally. 8 and 56 hundredths times 100. Answer. 856 10 thousands. Let's multiply mentally. 9 and 7 tenths times 1 tenth. The answer is Ninety-seven hundreds. Last. Twelve and forty-five hundreds times one hundred. Answer. One thousand two hundred forty-five ten thousands. Let's move on in the steps in multiplying decimals by 10 or 100. Let's proceed with example number 2. We have 2 and 9 tenths times 100. Step number 1. Count the number of zeros in 10 or 100. So we have two zeros.
Step number two, move the decimal point to the right based on the number of zeros in 10 or 100. So in this example, we have two zeros. So we need to move the decimal point going to the right. So one, two. Since there is a vacant space between our second move going to the right, so we need to put zero. So the final answer here is 290. Let us try. Multiply mentally. <clears throat> 8 and 56 hundredths times 100. Let's move the decimal point going to the right. Remember, we have two zeros in 100. So the final answer is 856. Next, we have 2 and 7 tenths times 100. So again, we have two zeros in 100. So we need to move twice or two times going to the right. The answer is 270. Last, 88 and 43 hundredths times 10. We have one zero in 10 and we need to move the decimal point going to the right once. So the answer is 884 and 3 tenths. Always remember, how do we multiply decimals up to two decimal places by one tenth, one hundred, ten, or 100. To multiply decimals by one tenth or one hundredth, first count the uh, count the de uh, number of decimal places. Next, move the decimal point to the left based on the number of decimal places. <coughs> Next, to multiply decimals by 10 or 100, count the number of zeros in 10 or 100. And last, move the decimal point to the right based on the number of zeros in 10 or 100. For our matanong of the day, multiply mentally. Number one, 100 times 8 and 56 hundredths. Number 2, 45 and 79 hundredths times 10. Number 3, 64 and 2 tenths times 1 tenth. And last, 100 times 73 hundredths. Again, multiply mentally. 100 times 8 and 56 hundredths. Number 2, 45 and 79 hundredths times 10. Number 3, 64 and 2 tenths times 1 tenth. And number 4, 100 times 73 hundredths. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.